So, um, last year uh, on this show, we, in we introduced a new literary genre called uh, conservative erotic fiction. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> No, for a good reason, because Rupert Murdoch's company bought Harlequin Romance. Rupert Murdoch, who stepped down this week. Yep. Oh, what a loss. <laughs> he gave us Sean Hannity and tits on page three of British newspapers. What a legacy. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, then we found out uh, a couple of weeks ago that Bernie Sanders, Democratic, giant liberal, <laughs> had written his Fifty Shades of yeah. Grey type piece somewhere yeah. when he way back when he was in college yeah. so we realize now that there is a market for liberal erotic fiction and we have a a sample here it's called <laughs> be still my bleeding heart <laughs> it's really meant to get liberals hot are you are, are you un for hearing some of this you, would you like uh, <laughs> I was at Whole Foods buying organic seaweed from my rescue goldfish <laughs> when I noticed her working the checkout counter. She had a body like Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yeah! Yeah! It just wouldn't quit. <laughs> like Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Our eyes met and suddenly I was harder than the wall between church and state. I placed my craft beer on the the belt and she asked me did you bring your own bag <laughs> my head was spinning like a wind farm I <laughs> I knew she was flirting with me but I told her I wanted to respect her personhood and <laughs> boundaries and not disempower her with any patriarchal microaggressions <laughs> that's when she showed me her pussy <laughs> I summoned all my white privilege. <laughs> when do you get off, I asked. When Elizabeth Warren talks about credit card abuse, she said. <laughs> In minutes, we were back at her place. I threw her down on her sustainably grown cotton futon. And we went at it like two rabbits humanely raised on non-GMO corn. <laughs> I ran my fingers through her long, luxurious hair. Then, when I was done with her armpits, oh. I placed her hand on my sizable entitlement. I told her, I think you're going to like it. It's gluten-free. I put it in and she screamed like Howard Dean after a hard-fought primary. But like the 1%, she took it all. until she finally came with a thunderous cry. Oh God, oh God, oh God has no place in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> we lay back, taxed and spent. I lit a joint and told her, you're the sexiest woman I've ever met. Woman, she said, and gave me a look. Oh no, call me Caitlin. 